Hello. You started at the beginning, which is impressive. I usually start in the middle, and I never read instructions. <laughs> it's surprising that I made a book because I'm not good at reading them. The truth is, I need pictures. They are like islands, place to get to the sea of words. This book is for everyone, whether you are 80 or 8. I feel like I'm both sometimes. I'd like it to be one you can dip in to anywhere, anytime. Start in the middle if you like scribble on it. Squeeze the corners and leave it well thumbed. The drawings are mainly of a boy, a mole, a fox and a horse. I'll tell you a, a little bit about them, although I'm not sure you'll see things here that I don't. So I'll be quick. This boy is lonely. When the more the surface is, they spend time together gazing into the wild. I think the wild is a little bit like life. Fortunate sometimes, but beautiful. It, in the wonderings, let me the fox. It's never going to be easy meeting a fox. If you are a mole, the boy is full of questions. The mole is greedy for cake. That me. <laughs> the fox is mainly silent and wary because. He's been hurt by life, poor thing. Oh. The horse is the biggest thing they ever encountered, and also the gentlest. They are all different, like hoods, and each has their own weaknesses. I can see myself in a, all four of them. Perhaps you can too. The adventures happen in springtime where one minute snow is falling and the sun shines the next, which is also a little bit like life. It can turn on a sixpence. <laughs> I hope this book encourages you. Perhaps Perhaps you live courageously with more kindness for yourself and for others and to ask for help when you need it, which is always a brave thing to do. When I was making this, the book, I often wondered who on earth am I to be doing this? But as the horse says, the truth is everyone is winging it. <laughs> so I say, spread your wings and follow your dreams. This, the, this book is one of mine. I hope you enjoy it. And much love to you. Thank you, Charlie, my sake.